Today I'm taking the DF Goblin kit car to a college car meet. As you can see, I'm at my house now and I have gotten the DF kit car all the way here. And there's actually a meet not too far from here at SMU. So I'm gonna be taking this, showing it off to a bunch of college students as well as a bunch of my friends as well. And I think it should be pretty well received, but we'll see today. Let's go ahead, hop in and get going. So we made it out to the event. As you can see, we got the Goblin stationed up to another kit car right there, but it is a Ford GT, MR GT kit car rather than a cage car like the Goblin. So kind of nice to have a fellow kit car builder out here at Boulevard. So far, we've been getting some amazing reactions from this so far. Everybody loves it. Um, makes me feel really good. And a lot of people are actually really curious about the build process on these. So might be cool to see some more people building these here in the future, especially here in the Dallas area. But of course we got Beha again. She was at a couple of events yesterday. So we got them out here and we'll see what else we have out here. And hopefully we find some pretty cool stuff. Got an MR2, got that Datsun from yesterday as well. It's a Datsun 210. We got a couple of BMWs. Of course, my favorites are the F-Series M2s. I love those. We got a very Texas BMW. Got a Jaguar E-Type. I think it's an E-Type. Got a Mercedes SLS with the gold wings. And then we got a uh, trash can right there. You are asking where the trash can was earlier, Dad. Oh, there it is. It's right there. But, and then we've got a really cool S2K right here, so we'll go check this out. What are you doing? Are you going to school Are you a freshman? We got the DIY vent ducts on the wheel welds. That's pretty cool. We got the subtle wide body. This is a fully gutted with a roll cage on the inside. We've got a carbon fiber hard top with a carbon fiber ARP, APR performance wing. This thing is very clean. Got a couple of 350Zs rolling in. What I like about college events like this is that you actually see some early modified cars rather than just bought and not built cars. I like stuff like the S2Ks and the 350s, stuff that you don't see, every, like you see them everywhere, but each one is pretty much unique. Whereas these Lamborghinis and Ferraris, they're pretty much all the same no matter where you go. Here's this 350Z that rolled in. We got a carbon fiber hood, a little lip on it. Pretty cool, pretty cool little uh, little build. It's got a small big wing, but it's a pretty neat little, pretty neat little setup here. It's pretty cool, man. Oh dang, LS? Yeah. LS one or one. very nice. 
Wow, how'd you fit that in there? <laughs> uh, this is my little modification. I think great. Is it how much power you think it's pushing? I haven't got it to yet. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Down to, uh, down to, so. I I thought it sounded a little funny when it rolled in. I was like, that doesn't sound like a VQ. Yeah. So very cool, man. That's awesome. How long have you had it? Oh, uh, you. Here. <clears throat> nice. I did everything myself. Oh, very nice. Yeah. How long has it been on the road since you did the swap? Well, how long I had the car? I had the the build. So. Uh, yeah, both. What, what, what? I had the car for about ten years and the. Oh, gotcha. So the build's only been about a year. And then, gotcha. Okay. Very cool, man. I like it. Got a Camaro rolling in as well. We got an M3, the G Series M3. It's a pretty diverse crowd here, which is what I like. It's not just the same thing all over the place. Like, we got a Mustang next to a Datsun 210 next to a Jaguar. It's a, and then we got a little E28 right there. It's a pretty good mix of stuff. This is These are the kind of meats that I really like. I'm seeing the same thing over and over and over again. It's kind of cool to see some diversity out at these events. And I like adding to it a little bit with my little uh, contraption, as the Lady of Fire of Stone called it. It is a little death trap contraption. So anyway, some pretty cool reactions. We're gonna look around for a little bit and uh, head out here soon. Did want to showcase this. This guy is really cool. So I did want to showcase this, as you can see, how beautiful these AN lines are run along there. It's a 327. Actual knockoff wheels, which is impressive. Well, it's already in, I just gotta get it on it. As you can see, we made it back to the garage. Overall, it was a pretty good meet. We had some awesome people come out. Everybody loved seeing the Goblin out at SMU campus. We got some good feedback from people. There was another builder out there who built another car and he thought that this was pretty cool as well. However, it didn't go entirely smooth. We did have a slight issue with the clutch that I mentioned in the last video that basically whenever I'm pushing the clutch all the way in, the it is still engaging slightly, which means I got an air bubble in the clutch line. You can see that in the video, whenever I'm backing up, um, I had some trouble getting it into gear and it's because of that air bubble. Basically it makes it difficult to shift because the clutch is still somewhat engaging. So should be hopefully an easy fix. I just need to bleed the clutch line again. If that fixes it, but only fixes it temporarily, then that is probably indicating there is a leak somewhere in the system not of fluid, but of air. But we'll be fixing that somewhat soon. Overall, the car is running really, really well, and I'm actually really surprised at how well it's running. Now we just gotta start ironing out the little kinks of it. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of this car or any of the other cars on the channel, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming out here in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.